Hello students, today we are going to continue with the topic force, ok. Now we are going to talk about the types of forces, we all know there are different kind of forces, ok. Say mechanical force, muscular force, gravitational force, frictional force, ok. And when I want to you know uh, say like how many kind of forces are there if I want to divide them. So, on what basis can I divide the force into ok on what basis can I divide the force. So, children in journal when we talk about like how can we divide the force into so I will say it will be divided into two categories ok the forces can be divided into two categories first one the contact force ok the forces which comes into existence or which can be produced when the contact is there ok. Now, contact of what and between what? So, contact between the two surface two bodies two substances ok. So, we are going to continue with this I will be elaborating this thing, but just you know a uh, thing like a uh, 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 just a glance what we are going to study. So, I am talking about the forces today we are going to start with the types of forces and I am saying if I want to divide if you want to divide the force into different categories then it can be divided into two. First one is contact that means the forces for what for the forces for you know it is a few forces it is very very essential that there are two substances ok two things two surfaces need to be in contact they have to be in contact ok. Now, what can be the other one obviously the second one is for which there is no need of being in contact ok. So, when I will explain this it will become quite easier there is nothing and like not a big deal. So, first of all I can write over here types of forces. Okay. What I have written over here types of forces. Now, this type of forces can be divided into how many categories? Two categories. Okay. So, let me write over here contact force okay. and second one is non contact force. I am saying force can be divided into two categories contact force and non contact forces ok. So, how can we divide how can we put that yeah this particular force will come into this category or this particular force will come into this category. So, children the name itself is suggesting ok the name itself is suggesting contact force and non contact force. So, when I say contact force that means here that the thing ok the substance on which the force is being acted you know it has to be in contact with something. Now, I will just give you an example uh, say take the example of the muscular force ok. Now, muscular force means what where you are using your muscles ok. Now, I am lifting this chalk I am writing on the blackboard. So, what I am using I am using my muscles is not it. I am using my muscles and I am writing. So, this is muscular force. So, what are the contact force children? Those kind of forces which come into existence only when object are in physical contact with each other ok. First of all I will write the definition ok. Contact force I write forces over here are those forces ok these are those forces which comes 
into existence only when two objects are in physical contact with each other. Okay, see what I have written over here children, contact forces are those forces which comes into existence only when two objects are in physical contact with each other, okay. That means when the substance are in contact with each other. Now when I am talking about lifting a chalk, okay, I am lifting a chalk that means what see chalk and my hand are in contact with each other, isn't it? Uh, talk about lifting of a bucket, then the bucket and my hand will be in contact with each other. Okay, when you ride a bicycle, then bicycle and you are in contact. Okay, so when we talk about contact force, so how can we say that two objects has to be in contact with each other? Without being together, the force cannot be produced. Okay, that means until unless two objects comes closer the force cannot be produced ok. Now as soon as I will explain you non contact force that force will become more clearer to you. So those forces which do not need objects to be in contact ok, to be in contact. What I have written those forces which do not need to be which do not need object to be in contact. You can make it in a simpler way you can write like this also non contact forces are those forces which comes into existence even when the objects are not in physical contact ok. You can write in this way also not at all an issue ok. So the thing which we need to understand over here is here the objects need to be in contact and here there is no need at all for an object to be in contact. Now when we talk about the first force contact force what can be the examples of contact force children and what can be the examples of non-contact forces. So let me continue over here, first one I am writing over here. When I say examples, okay, so muscular force. ok, mechanical force, frictional force, ok and when I and when I talk about the forces of non contact force, so what I can write? First I will write here non contact ok. So what can be the examples of non contact forces children? It can be magnetic force. Okay, then what else? Electrostatic force. And 
even gravitational force okay now see we'll have a complete discussion on this we are talking about the types of the forces okay now basically the types of forces that means the force can be divided into two categories contact force and non contact forces okay now when i talk about contact force this is the force for what the two things the two objects the two substance or if even if i can say in this way that if i want to produce these kind of forces it's very very essential that the substance comes in contact <coughs> and when i talk about non contact force then it's again very simple children here there is no need of the substance to come in contact with each other okay now just talk about the example children now when i'm saying muscular force that means just now i explained that things has to be in contact okay mechanical force again here also for mechanical what is the meaning of mechanical force the force which is produced due to machines okay or by the machines so here also what is necessary the contact is necessary okay now when we talk about gravitational force when we talk about gravitational force if i keep a chalk over here okay it is not in contact with the earth but still it will go towards the earth that is what non contact force that means even when the substance is not in contact with the what source okay even when the two substances are not in contact with each other that time also the force is in it's like it is there okay now talk about magnetic force we all are very very aware of the uses of magnets magnet how magnet works okay magnetic force so uh, how like does it needs the substance to be very closer no uh, if you remember in uh, movies also you know i remember one shot where uh, one of the hero i think sanjay that was holding gun okay and uh, the other one he just removes his you know top part of the belt and the gun just you know it came forcefully and got attracted towards the magnet which was there in the belt of the other hero and what the gun was now in the others uh, coat that means now it was not with the sanjay that just the other fellow he opened his belt and due to magnet the gun got attracted and it came so the uh, gun and that belt was not at all in contact okay so what is that these forces do not need contact these forces do not need the substance or the objects to be in contact okay so this is the major difference between the contact and non contact forces okay so examples also are very clear children contact forces <coughs> muscular force mechanical force and frictional force and non contact forces children magnetic force electrostatic force and gravitational force okay so this is about the types of forces how can we divide the force into two categories this is all about this now i have written different kind of forces over here so uh, see basically you know uh, just by saying the name we know a little bit about the forces like what is the meaning of muscular force mechanical force gravity we are studying from you know like uh, i think from 6th or 5th standard so uh, magnetic also we know but just uh, we are aware about you know the one or two characteristics so now here we will be discussing few more points okay few more points about these kind of uh, the, this these this different forces okay so first of all i'll talk about now muscular force okay i'll talk about now muscular force what is the meaning of muscular force okay so for that i need to clean the board first of all so first of all we'll talk about which force children first of all we'll talk about muscular force okay so let me write over here 
first is muscular force. Okay, so uh, when I am saying children that for muscular force the things has to be in contact. Okay, suppose you want to use your muscle, you want to slap your friend. Okay, how can you slap your friend if you are not using your muscles, you are not your the uh, if you want to slap okay the chicks and the hens should be in contact is not it. So, until and unless please do not slap. Uh, so, until and unless you bring the hand and the uh, you know if you want to do any kind of work suppose if I need to lift a bucket when I want to lift a bucket then what exactly I am doing children so, you know, I am using muscles ok. So, what is a muscular force? A force where the muscles are used ok. The force where the muscles are used or we can say the muscles exert uh, pressure or muscles uh, you know they are they create or they are responsible for uh, you know lifting or the work to be done. So, these kind of uh, examples if we talk about muscular force. So, you can give an n number of examples of this ok. What I am lifting I am holding chalks muscular force, I will be writing muscular force. I want to uh, drive my car again drive a car it will be different ok. So, why different children I am there the, bo the body is there, but again the machine has come. So, when we talk about muscular force children only the body has to be there ok. Now, these kind of examples you know you can keep on uh, keep on adding the like muscular force there is no end of this uh, wrinkling the clothes ok. Uh, then what else uh, even the you know when you go for a walk ok when you are jumping. So, what kind of force is being used? your muscles are creating when you play when you play cricket when you play football. So, what kind of force are you using children muscular force. So, remember first type of force muscular ok what is being used over here muscles are used ok. Now, muscles are used what muscles are doing muscles exert force they are producing force ok. So, what should I write if I want to write the definition of muscular force. <coughs> the force exerted by muscles is called as muscular force ok. So, the force exerted ok the force exerted by muscles is what muscle is called as muscular force ok. So, now examples lifting books ok even writing whatever wherever you see that muscles are being used. So, you can write all those examples ok. Now, holding a glass. So, all these are the examples of muscles. Now, if I talk about horse ok uh, like uh, horse is pulling a cart then what which kind of force will you say because horse is not a machine and horse is not human being. So, what you will uh, how you are going to categorize this. So, children even when the animals they use their muscles then these kind of you know the when the animals when the, the animals are using the forces how can we uh, quote more examples. So, we can say 
like when the elephant they lift the logs ok when uh, like take the example of bullock carts ok so when animals are when donkey carries a load so all these examples also are the examples of what these are the examples of muscular forces why children because here yeah what if, what if donkey is there ok donkey is also using its muscles so donkey monkey or you know uh, any animal if they are doing any work and they are use doing they are doing any kind of work means what they are using their muscles so whenever donkey monkey elephant whatsoever ok when the animals also use their muscles then we say which kind of force is this we say it is a muscular force so let me write over here children like elephant lifting woods or even donkey please do not forget donkey donkey carrying load ok so whenever animals or human beings they use the muscles and the force is produced then it is known as muscular force ok here the muscles are the one which is creating the force ok muscle exerts the force ok muscles are responsible for creating the force ok so can this kind of force be increased or decreased so yes even you know see I am writing on the blackboard you are writing in your notebook if I speed if I want to increase the speed ok so what I need to do I need to write fast that means I will be using more muscles when more muscles means not different kind of muscles from different parts I will be using the muscles more ok I will be using the muscles with great speed so if the muscles are being used with a great speed definitely the force exerted will be more ok and more uh, force the speed can be increased ok if you hit a if you you know you might have seen that one stick along with that rubber thing uh, which even you know the farmers and all this they used to hit the cow or maybe such animals ok so what they do they hit the animal and then animals what they do they increase their speed isn't it so what I mean to say is children the, the speed of the muscular force can be increased so let me write this also the speed of the speed of muscular force can be increased ok so this was about our muscular force so what is muscular force children when the force is exerted by the what muscles when muscles exert the force and this kind of force also can be increased ok now we will talk about the second force the second force can be mechanical force now the second type of force can be of mechanical force now see muscular force I am using muscular force and so what is there it is in contact ok so muscular force is which kind of force contact force in the same way when we talk about mechanical force even this force is what contact type of force ok now you are riding your bicycle I am driving my car so what I am doing what is there like contact is there ok when the contact when contact is there that means what we can say these are contact type of forces now mechanical force means what children when the force ok I am talking about now mechanical force so how can we define the force exerted by machine ok the force 
exerted by machine or machines is called as mechanical force. Okay, is called as mechanical force. So, the force exerted by machines. So, take many examples are there. Take any example. Uh, take the example of uh, you know uh, car moving car moving bus moving train okay so what all these are examples of what machines mechanical work even you know you can take the examples of the moving turbines okay when you talk about moving turbines where you will see the moving turbines we will see moving turbines in hydroelectric plants isn't it where the turbines are used to produce what electricity okay so when i am talking about uh, turbines again it is moving due to machine it, it works so even you take the example of cranes when the cranes lift the things and put it somewhere so what they are using again what it is a mechanical force because the machine is exerting force so the force exerted by machines is called as mechanical force okay now please write the examples over here moving car okay moving car then even i can write many things bus trucks okay even train now rotating turbine rotating turbines in hydroelectric plants okay hydroelectric plant again i can write even the cranes ok cranes lifting the anything crane lifting the garbage anything I should not write garbage over here crane lifting the I should write iron see children this part can be anything ok crane lifting anything so the force exerted by machines is called as mechanical force and whatever machine you talk about whatever machine whichever machine you talk about all this will come under the example of what which, which kind of force you in it will come under the category of mechanical force ok. So, again what this is a second type of force coming under the category of what children it is in the category it falls in the category of what which kind of force contact force is not it. So, contact force we have read 2 ok just uh, to revise what is the meaning of contact force children for contact force it is very very essential for the substance for the object to be in contact with each other ok. So, when I am saying muscular force say I am holding the chalks. So, again what I can say it is in like my hand and chalks are in contact with each other and so this force comes under the category of contact force. Second type of force again it is also it will also fall in what which kind of force should in contact force and which force I am talking about I am talking about mechanical force. So, a big difference between muscular force and mechanical force should in muscular force is produced due to muscles it can be uh, of muscles of animals or it can be the muscles of humans ok. Now, mechanical force it is produced due to the machines ok. So, this are the two forces which are the examples of contact force. Now, we will be going to the third force ok. Now, what is the third force which is in category of contact force 
okay so now the third one for talking third one again i need a great space over here so i'll just clean it off okay and then we'll talk about the third force which is frictional force okay 